Yo, check this out. Finna do a live sample flip on my MPC X. Hope y'all enjoy it. All right, so I'm gonna start it from scratch, right? I'm loading up my um, MPC X. You see it powering up. I've already found the sample over here as far as the record I'm gonna sample it from. Um, and I'll get started on that in a second, but I am going to upload a drum kit or two to get us started. So I'll hit browse, go to places, go to my external but internal hard drive, go to my kits um, and my 2020 beat kits. Um, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I'm gonna load up a few of them just so I have some options as to what kind of feel I wanna give the record because that's the other part is uh, having the ability to dance between feels versus, uh, you know, sounds. Um, the sounds that help me get the feel that I want for the record. So I'm going to upload another drum kit for safekeeping. Let's do, uh, no, let me go further down. And I got a lot of kits. That's the whole thing. Like I got a ton of drums. Let's load this one. Let's load this one. And I'll load one more. Because why not? There we go. Okay, cancel that. Because that one, the reason why I canceled that one, that one has drums that, uh, it, it says it has drums from pre existing kits. So I don't, I do not want to, you know, upload drums that are already in the, uh, in the computer. So, okay, let's load this. Yes, you can replace those. Because I know it's a lot of drums in this kit. Let's do that one. Yes, replace those. And because I maxed out my memory in here, I'll have more than enough to, um, to sample, chop, and create with. This is completely in the... It's going to be completely in my... MPCX, I will not be turning on the computer for anything. So if you're traveling, if you're, you know, if you're working on set, like when I do my acting stuff and I'm on set, I can just take this unit and be fine. So let's see. Let me just manage the volume. Okay, cool. So I got my kits in there. I'm a, um, let's find a sample spot. Hit power, sample spot. Now, it may make it so you can't hear some of this when I actually put this up. Let me just clean it. All my albums are pretty old, so they're gonna have the real crackles in them joints. But it was I didn't have that crackle before um, when I listened back to it last night when I was just vibing to it, to it. So hopefully this is the fix. And I can get a good pass out of this. I'd be excited about that. All right, so we're gonna leave that as is. We're gonna put this in a in program one. Always name your sample by the artist. Okay, so now that I got the sample in there. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up by pressing trim, and it changes to chop. So. I want my first chop to be on this, I want my first chop to be right here. So actually I want to do, so I'm actually going to change the spot of my, my two slot. So my two, I'm putting it on the kick. All right, I think we pretty much good. I got 16 chops on it right now. If I go to B, 
I actually want to get rid of these. Uh, Alright, so we're good there. Took a minute, but we're good there. So now I'm going to go shift and convert, and it's going to create a new drum in my programs now. So this is just the one, but if I go here now, it's going to be... Now we're going to construct the jam out of it, and then I got the slices. But first what I got to do so they don't cut each other off. Change the program up a little bit, so let me go here. Program edit. And instead of the polyphony being um, at 2, I'm going to put it at 16. Now that I got that, I also need to go here and change all these from to to where I got to hold them down because I don't want to. So what I did was I went to um, program edit and scrolled over to LFO modulation right here and that brought me to the one shot or note on. I choose note on so I can hold it. So I can hold it as long as I want to in order to construct my beat. Now this one, I'm going to change it to one shot. See what I'm saying? Because I want it to linger over a little bit. So I can change the mute group. So now these are all cut off when I want them to. So I'm gonna put them all on on the mute group one. So with them in the mute group one, they'll cut themselves off. So I don't need to really put them on note on. This is so dope.
<laughs> All right, so enough of me playing around with that. I'll be back in a minute with what I created. Or do y'all want to see? You know what? Let me just show y'all. Let's get this tempo going. So let's go at 94. 94 beats per minute. You just type that in. And give me. A, let's get the metronome going. We can't do it without a metronome. Oh, there you go. Why is the metronome playing back in record and play? Okay, there we go. I've been sitting back waiting for her to come through, but she be doing what she wanna do, and I've been taking it easy, but I don't know now, but now I know you know that. Um, that's gonna count in on record. Record, enable on record only. No, not on record and play. When it's playing, I want it off. When it records, I Sound fast. Talk to me, baby. Okay, so we're hearing this cut off. All, the, all that so let me do this so go back to program edit let's come back down here to modulation and the polyphony now has to change so I can so I can play these other notes you know what I mean so I'm gonna go to six so that they can play so I'm gonna put them all at 16 And this will allow for overlapping. So certain ones Okay, so let's dial it back. Certain ones I'm going to have to put the note on and change the mute group. So like the ones I want to play long Like this one. And I don't want that to be cut off by another mute group. 
See? So let me just change some of these. So I, what I'm doing now is I'm putting those back in the cho group. There's a core group of them that have to be in the cho group on the rhythm beat side. Then there are a few that I can leave as one shots, um, but note on, not on shots, but note on. So now I've only got two bars of that. So let me um, let me double it. Hit the pin, double length, double length. Now I got eight bars. Take that. I want to keep This without me adding any of my own drums yet. So let me do that, because that's missing the drums right here. Ah! 
this is the idea that came from it. Let me put some volume on that. And it could be R&B or rap, you know what I'm saying? If it's R&B, it's like, now I've been sitting by the phone at night, waiting for my baby to come in tonight. I told her she can have whatever she don't like. Oh, it didn't go to the verse. Here go the verse. I'm sorry. Now I've been talking to my baby girl. She knows I got a man now. No way should I be unknown. Cause I've been thinking how I did it, baby. Baby can't admit it. No, you want my love. I used to want to vibe now. And if I can't get through to you, girl, I'm for that long. You gotta ask somebody else. Yeah. You gotta ask somebody else. I know you don't feel like you should be buns I'm pretty I didn't hit it down no more. But I'm like, girl, you know that I'm um, and I I'm sorry. And here could it's gotta go through that again. Uh and then it's Cause I can't wait to show you I'm not old. Oh and this then the hook I don't wanna go through it. Uh, I don't wanna go through this. I've been trying in a minute, I love, um, but shorty, I've been trying, I've been trying, like. But she don't wanna wait for the summer or the daytime. I told her shorty she got a pen and bit the lane line. She got me thinking I needed it, but this is kind of conceited. I did pretend it, and then when she comes, she retreated. I feel like, who am I? The illest and the realest got me soup to pie. I pretend it ain't it. So, I just wanna give y'all a couple different um, ideas on how you could flow to that, you know what I'm saying? Um, R&B, hip hop, either way. This may go on my BeatStars account. I'll link the BeatStars on, well, you can just get it on my page. My BeatStars, my Twitter, my IG are all on my page. Why don't you uh, link up? All right. Yo, that's been my sample flip of that sample directly in my MPC X. You saw me find, well, you didn't see me find the record, but you saw me play the record, sample the record, chop my sample up, and then create a beat with it. I also, I'm gonna include all the mistakes I made because to take the mistakes out would be an injustice to you. Cause you could possibly make these mistakes and be like, yo, what did he do, what did he do? No, I want you to see the mistakes cause you're gonna learn from my mistakes. That's the whole point of how I teach. I'm gonna make the mistakes so you don't have to. Now, the more we go through it, the less I'll make these mistakes. And if you need to, you can always refer back to these videos where I did make the mistakes. So you're on this journey with me as I become more proficient with my MPCX. The process is the part that I'm trying to create on a consistent basis, is a formula. Anyway, if there's anything that you thought that, blah, if there's anything in here that you thought was of value to you as an MPCX user or producer or whatever, go ahead and hit the like button, comment, absolutely subscribe and turn on those notification buttons so you don't miss these tutorials that I drop every so often. If you'd like me to drop more tutorials, say something, man. I only do them in, you know, sparingly right now because nobody's like, yo, man, I want to see you do another record, do another record. How do you choose your, I mean, like, I can't ask myself the questions. I mean, I guess I could, but it's more fun when y'all ask me <laughs> to keep it real. Um, so, yeah, if there's something y'all want to see that I haven't done yet, then, you know, hit me. Leave it in the comments and I'll figure something out. All right. Till next time, y'all. I'm out.